All right, so moving on to the uh, the next section of this chapter, we got uh, the derivatives of uh, polynomial functions. And the first thing we're going to talk about is the uh, is the power rule. And um, this is going to be a shortcut for finding derivatives. Uh, you're going to probably wish that you knew this uh, a little earlier. You wouldn't have to do all that uh, crazy algebra you've been doing with the difference quotient. But um, let's do a little review here. So let's say I give you the function uh, x to the power of 3. And I want to find the derivative. So I want to find f prime of x. That's the derivative. What's the derivative again? Where? Well, it's just the slope of tangent. How do you find the derivative? Well, you, um, you use the definition of a derivative with the difference quotient being part of that definition. So limit it f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Limit as h goes to zero. <clears throat> so let's, um, let's solve this question. So plugging in uh, f of x plus h into this, you'll get um, x plus h to the power of 3 minus f of x is just x cubed all over h. Now let's, uh, let's expand this. So if you were to FOIL this out, I'm going to just use uh, Pascal's triangle here. So you'd get x cubed plus x squared h plus x h squared plus h cubed minus x to the power of 3 all over h. Let's continue this up here. So notice how in the numerator here, the x cubes will cancel out. So you'll be left with the limit as h goes to 0 of x squared h plus x h squared plus h cubed all over h. Wow, I screwed this up. I screwed this up. Sorry, there should be a, um, there should be threes in front here. My bad. All right, uh, in front of the x squared h and the x h squared, there should be uh, threes there. Sorry about that. So there should be threes here as well. Okay, moving on. Let's uh, factor out an h from the uh, from the numerator. So we'll get h. Here we'll have three x squared plus three x h plus h squared all over h, h is cancel out. And then when we plug in zero for h, this, this term here goes to zero, this goes to zero, and we're just left with three x squared. So the derivative of uh, x cubed is um, is three x squared. Okay, so what's the power rule? So basically, if you have a function in the form of x to the power of n, where n is a real number, then all that means is that the derivative is always going to be n x to the power of n minus 1. So it'll, the function will be x to the power of some kind of exponent, right? And the derivative of that is you just bring the exponent down, all right, you put it in front of the x, and then you just take away one from the exponent uh, and you get the derivative. So if we applied the power rule to this question that we had, so we had what? f of x equals x uh, cubed. Well, if we just did a shortcut, we just use the power rule, what happens? The n is the three, so the derivative, we bring the three down and then we minus one from the uh, the degree of the uh, of the original function, so we just end up with three x squared. And notice how that's the derivative we got by using the definition of a derivative. 
All right, so um, so it's just a shortcut for uh, for these kinds of uh, these kinds of polynomial functions. You can uh, let's do a review. You just bring the n down and then subtract one from the uh, from the exponent to get the uh, to get the derivative in a much quicker way. One more thing I want to uh, mention about the uh, the power rule is that the, um, I just told you what the rule is. I didn't go over the proof for it. The proof is actually uh, in the examples in your book. Um, but make sure go 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 over the proof. It's pretty challenging, um, but. Uh, it may show up on your test. I'm not sure. Maybe your teacher will throw on uh, a proof on your test. Maybe not. Depends on the teacher. But uh, tougher teachers will put up a proof. Um, so yeah, go over that in your book. Uh, it's a little challenging, but uh, but you can get through it. They uh, they explain it pretty well. Um, yeah, for any rules that we cover in this chapter, make sure that you're also going over the proofs uh, in your book to really deepen your understanding of how they get to these results.